never going to talk about how many milliliters your medication, your peptide is. For peptides, we're using milligrams. Now, first, we need to understand what a milligram is. Milligram is a unit of weight, okay? Think about a scale. Think about milligrams. You're going to weigh it on a scale. We're going to use creatine to represent our terzepatide. Five milligrams of terzepatide. Agreed? In our first batch, we're going to put five milligrams of terzepatide. Second batch, we're going to do five milligrams. For our third batch, we're going to do 10 milligrams. You could add as much or as little liquid as you want to add to this. If you add too little, it's probably going to burn you. If you add too much, you're going to have to be sitting there injecting all day long. So finding a happy medium. Now, typically the ratio is 10 milligrams to one milliliter. Milliliters are a unit of volume. Milliliters are going to tell you how much volume you filled up. Have you filled up one milliliter, two milliliters, three milliliters. First reconstitution is going to be five milligrams, and we're going to put half a milliliter backwater in our five milligrams. This is our solution. We've used 0.5 milliliters to reconstitute five milligrams. So how many milligrams do we have in here now that we did 0.5 milliliters? It's still five milligrams because we're always going to refer to this in milligrams. Okay. Now for our second example, we're going to use one milliliter of water to reconstitute our five milligrams. Okay. So this is a more diluted mix, right? You're going to have to inject more liquid. Now we've added one milliliter to our five milligrams. How many milligrams are in here? It's still five milligrams. So now when you're dosing, if you did half a milliliter to five milligrams, you need to know how many units you're taking out. You're going to fill your syringe differently to get five milligrams here than you would here. Standard syringe is one milliliter and it shows a hundred units on there. Now we're going to do 10 milligrams with one milliliter. So we used one milliliter here and we use one milliliter here. There we go. Now we added one milliliter to our 10 milligrams. How many milligrams are still in here? It's still 10 milligrams because the milligrams never change. Okay. The milligrams are how you measure your dose. So if you were to inject this whole thing in one go, that's 10 milligrams. If you were to inject this whole thing in one go, it's five milligrams. doesn't matter how much liquid is in here. If you were to inject this whole thing in one go and it's way less liquid, it's still five milligrams because the milligrams never changed. The amount of backwater changed, okay? Now, when we're reconstituting, it's easiest to do the ratio of 10 milligrams to one milliliter. Why? Because it's one and one. It's kind of like it's easy to do the math. If there are 10 milligrams in one milliliter of water and we only want a two milligram dose, we want two out of 10, right? 20% of one milliliter is going to be 0.2 milliliters. We know a syringe is one milliliter and we want 20% of one milliliter to get 20% of 10 milligrams. And there are hundred units in one milliliter. 20% of hundred is 20. So you fill it up to 20. It's easier. Okay. So let's say we had done this five milligrams to one milliliter and we wanted to dose 2.5 milligrams we would do half of this, right? Because we're always thinking in terms of milligrams. Half of one milliliter is gonna be 50 units because there are 100 units in one milliliter. So always think of your dose in milligrams because milligrams is a unit of weight, but is used to measure your dose, not liquid, because the liquid can change. Even if you get it from Eli Lilly, Zetbound, if you're doing a huge dose, they might make it more concentrated. So always think about how many milligrams we're trying to get to not how many milliliters we're trying to get to, okay? I hope that made sense.